so uh, let me show you how sighted person is going to do this. You could just start key M and highlight this with a J, but I know you're a mouse user, so I'll let you take your mouse over there and double click, and this is what you're gonna hear. Jaws professional. Okay. Skype colon. Do have all your work minimized. Don't uh, turn Jaws on with a piece of paper open. I just call it a piece of paper. You know, it's something electronic. Start key M, which minimizes everything. So just hit your Windows M, and it will minimize everything. Now I'm gonna Alt tab. Alt tab. To Alt, -tab. Open it. Alt tab. Period. One second. Environment transfer. Now this is what Anna actually gets. So if this is a true PDF. Uh, the inferred reading comes up and she's going to be able to do an alt s. So I'm going to take you through every step so you can actually see what occurs here. So she's going to do alt s. Alt s, period, one second, environment transformation, dash two dot pdf, dash adobe acrobat reader dc, processing page six of seven dot 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 progress bar read only, 85%, processing page seven of seven dot 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 okay. progress bar. And you can hear Jaws telling her, okay, it's processed it, it's done it, you visually saw the bar go through, that's what it is, it's processing the processing the page. So if it's a true PDF, she can down arrow right now and it will read everything. So we're going to take this through and this will tell her immediately where this, this is a scanned image. Because uh, the reason why people don't understand this is actually an image and not text. And I can tell you someone stuck this on a scanner and then they saved it as a PDF thinking that if they save it as a PDF it actually is. It's not. It's still an image. But we're going to down arrow and we're going to check that out for sure. Alert colon empty document. <gasps> Alert colon empty document. That's the first clue. So it processed this page and the reason why it did it so quickly is because it truly can't see anything there because it really isn't. It's an image. It's an image of text. It's not really text. Uh, otherwise that inferred reading it also would have taken longer because it has to take a look at that page and it actually has to read all that text. It probably would have taken at least uh, between one and two minutes to process that page. But anyway, Anna has that and she can do this as if a true PDF. Now the brainstorm I had last night and I might as well show you if this is gonna work right away uh, and we're gonna do it. So this is uh, one of the commands, but this is just a scan and read command. Uh, learn this because this is gonna help you also. So it's insert space, then we're gonna hit O and then we're gonna hit S your command in order to uh, make it text is going to be insert space O and then D. So let's do the scan and read first. Okay, so insert space. Space. Hit O. O, O, C, R. Now hit S. Started. Okay, so it's literally taking a look. Finished. It's... Jaws. Okay, now your Jaws cursor is on. Let's see if it actually reads. Now I'm going to do an insert down arrow uh, so we can follow this. I, archaeological evidence indicates that during Paleolithic, bunting bands of humans gradually migrated from their origin in East to Australia, Americas, adapting learning you can even see for 1.1.1 for technology and cultures to new climatic regions. Is Create PDF env one explain how and live humans a human developed. Skype yeah, colon Andrea Bednari is online. Okay, Use I will then let not for CS increase in Glitterverson to establish communities. So okay, and. so I can tell you if she really needs to, she could do that command. So that's the brainstorm on that. What I'll do, uh, because you never know how she's going to respond on this, <laughs> is I'm going to ask her, um, because of course this is going to hold down a whole lot of work from you. Now, what I'm curious is, I should be able to place my cursor up here and do it again because that's what she's going to want to do. And I'll actually set it up so her, well, her cursor already does highlight like this. So, here we go. Period 1 colon technological land. Select PDF file. Select PDF file. She's not going to like that. Environmental transformations. The C600B.C.E. Period ah, this 1 technological C7. Converto. Key concept 1.1. Big geography and the people in North Earth Sea. Okay, so I would say this is absolutely doable. I, I will convince her to really love this, um, but this will only work with words. Of course, you're going to have some other issues, so this could be really, really great. Um, okay, so now we're going to get out of the scan mode, and I'm going to show you how to actually OCR, and you heard it, OCR, so we're going to insert space. Space. And we're going to hit O. O, O, C, R. And now we're going to hit D. Started. And now it's going to start. Now this is going to take just a little while because it actually has to read the whole image and turn it to text. 
This is not great, and you'll see Concept why. Concept 1.1. 1. 1. I know, immediately Fifth go, geogra- oh land. my gosh, look how perfect that is. That's so great. She could read it right here. Land, land, land. Okay, hold on. Period 1 colon technological land. The land. Period 1 colon technological land. Environmental transformations. Don't we love that? To see 600 B.C.E. Key concept 1.1. Okay, I'm just going to go down to the table. Geography and to keep the term Australia. Also the land, land, land. Learning objectives for 11.1. I. Archaeological evidence indicates that during the Paleolithic era, hunting dash foraging bands of humans gradually migrated to Eurasia, Australia, and the Americas, adapting their technology and cultures okay. to new climate regions. We're pretty impressed, right? Um, the thing is, you cannot save this. This is what's called a virtual viewer. I'm going to start key up arrow sequence. Windows up arrow to Eurasia, Australia. Yeah, so this is called a virtual viewer. And what we would like to do, and this is what we do. So it reads as a table. It's like, oh my gosh, you think this is so perfect. So as long as she only has to listen to this, the problem is if she has to come back and re-listen and re-listen, which is typical of work. It really needs to be put into a form which can be saved. And if you hit your uh, Alt key. Menu, system, to move through items, press up or down arrow. No option there. So what you're going to have to do is you uh, click on it. Control A. Selected. 1781. Copy. Copy with a Control C. And when you have JAWS on, do use your keys. He's not really happy when you start to use a mouse a lot. He gets upset. Now my word, if you actually look at my taskbar, that's the one all the way at the very bottom, if you actually count, so my edge is number one, my file explorer is two, Firefox is three, word is four. So if I start key four, it's immediately gonna open my word. And if you would like to know how to pin those, um, I don't know if you wanna use hotkeys though, but anyway, I'm gonna use start key four and that's gonna open Windows word. four, opening dash word, word, okay. backstage. I'm just going to hit enter and open document, up document. one. Print. Now edit. here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste with a control V. Paste it. Page nine. Okay. Now here's your paste options. Take a look at that control option. Menu See group. That? Paste recovery table. Paste options. And keep it source says formatting keep grid. One of three. Navigate with left and right. Which is what you want to do. Now, what I'd like to do, because you're going to see the issue right away, is actually change everything to text which is wonderful if you don't have tables like this. And of course, change to text is... Merge format and grid, two of three. Keep text only okay. grid, three of three. And you can see it takes all the tables out, um, but you're gonna have issues with that because of course everything's in tables and you have to go by what the teacher is going to do. She's gonna say, take a look at the table or whatever. So that can have issues there. Keep source format and grid, one of three selected. I just want selected. you to know you have options there. And I use keep text formatting a lot on things that it's not really important to keep the table, but we're gonna keep your source formatting man. So you're gonna hit enter on that. Print six objects, and edit as you can page see, nine. It's beautiful table. The thing is, you have to see how that plus that tells you it's a table right there. That's a table. That's a table. And you can see all those miscellaneous lines in there. See all that? You actually have like 20 tables within here. And I'm going to show you that. So we're just going to click to get there. Now, we already know we should be table able to six, tab. Table 6, not uniform table. Page 1, normal. We should be able to tab from one to the other side, but watch what happens. Tab, table six, See? not uniform table, land, yeah. row two of two, column it's one. reading that as a whole table, which is an issue. So this is what you literally have to do. Now, once again, um, I'm hoping Anna connects to me early today and I can go over this because this will save you hours and hours. Uh, and not only that is she has to learn to scan and read because when she's in college, I can guarantee you she's not going to take the time to do this. But anyway, I'm just giving you this for the just in case. This is what you're literally going to do. Don't even try to work within this uh, document because you have hundreds and hundreds of tables. Like I said, this looks like one table. It is not. And is all you have to do is keep going around with your mouse and just move it. And it will show you that these are all individual tables themselves. Anyway, so what you're going to do is you just... Take your mouse now, and actually I'm going to turn off JAWS, insert F4 turns him off, okay? Insert F4. Unloading JAWS, quit JAWS, enter, and land, turn him row off. one so of one. So now you don't have to deal with all the talking anymore. So you see all these tables? You've got like one, two, three, anyway, you have like about six tables right here alone. This is where you're going to use your keep text only. You can also see the lines, which are going to cause really huge issues.
and Jaws has a fit while reading this. Okay, so we're going to copy this and and that's just a control C and create a new document with control N. Okay, now paste. Now, here you go. Here's the keep text only because the, you still have pasted like 10 tables in there. Hit your control key and hit T for keep text only. It literally is text now. So then you just place your uh, cursor there and move things into place. Now I'm just hitting the delete key to move it, okay? That's it. That's all you have to do. So that keep text only is really, really powerful. Now you're gonna take a look at this and you literally do see, you see two columns and you see one, two, kind of three rows there, okay? Uh, actually, there's only two rows there, so we're gonna add another column here. And actually, you don't even have to, you can get rid of this. So now you need to insert a table. Don't try to copy this table. It will, it will cause you like endless fits. So what you're going to do is, and I'm just all in because I like key commands because they work faster, and T for table, and you know that, and that's up here, okay? And then T for table, and you need a two, okay? A two by two table. We're just going to start simple and easy right now. A two by two table. And then you're going to just put your insert right there. Okay, so the first one. Now, only select the text. So you're going to select the text. Copy that. Control C. So if you use your mouse and then Control V and uh, your key commands, you're going to move a lot faster. Okay, Control T just to really make sure that's text. That's all you're going to do. That's how fast this is going to be. Okay, once again, here we go. Whoops, see how that moves? Because that's a table. Start at the end of the paragraph, okay? That's how you do it. And then you go up to select. And I can already tell you, I'd be to control shift down arrow. It's much faster and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, I'm copying that. I move it over here and I control V and paste. Hit my control, hit my T. So much faster. Now I'm gonna show you how much easier it is if and I'm going to click at the end because truly clicking it at the beginning, it will move your, because you've got a gazillion margins and tables. Control shift up arrow. See that? So much faster and you don't have to worry about getting off and selecting margins. Control C to copy. Alt tab. And once again, you come, oh, where did I copy that? Oh, on the second side. Okay. And come down here and paste. Okay. Hit your control T, keep text only. Okay. So that's how fast you can move. Um, and Anna may say she really needs this at first, uh, but I will be working on her to get her to that scan and read. I'm so glad I had that brainstorm um, because, let's face it, in life, she is not going to have someone doing all this work for her. And of course, it'll save you, for, uh, save you hours. But that is how you do this uh, so much more quickly than trying to, yeah. And I tried, oh my gosh, and I've got a gazillion apps and I tried everything and it more or less butchered it like Google Docs did because uh, it's so many tables and tables really throw things off. Don't copy things she doesn't need. She doesn't need that. You don't need to redo the title on every page. You know, you see that, ignore all that. You don't need any of that. Uh, don't do that. She doesn't need that. Oh, she probably needs explain how early humans. Yeah, okay, she needs, it. oh, this one. Yeah, she doesn't need that. No need to be tested. No, yeah, she does. Uh, just don't copy the titles. And the you know, she will need the page number put 38. So if the teacher says turn to page 38, okay, she knows which page to go to. But once again, the insert space OS, the scan and read will work for her. Okay, so that's how you can do it much more quickly and save yourself time on that. Once again, I will be working on her to do the scan and read, so you do not need to do all these. Now you know they truly are images, they are not text. Okay, good luck.